Man, this is a good Pies.com. I know there's been a couple of Ray Lewis's now, but each series, do you pick that someone say, hey, let's do Tom Brady, Eli Manning? And no, my, my selection process is no different than your guy. If we were to sit here right now and say, hey, next year, at the beginning of the season, given that we've got the, the momentum of last year, uh, stats and or the teams that have made a good run in the playoffs. Let's pick 10 guys right now. I bet if we all wrote those names down separate from each other, eight of them would be the same. So there's not really a lot of science here. We know who, who the MVPs are. We know which teams are hot. We know which guys are popular on an international basis. And then it's just a matter of backfilling them with guys who happen to have a, a, a sort of a career year or something like that or happen to be wearing a, a very popular uniform and we put those guys in there. 3.37 Rob Long Show. We're live for Super Bowl 42. Ray and Casey sitting in. We're chatting with Emmy-winning producer and director Todd McFarlane. Uh, Todd, uh, we all grew up baseball fans. At least all of us at the table uh, grew up huge baseball fans. And I mean, Mark McGuire goes out and hits home run number 70. You buy the baseball. Barry Bonds goes out and hits number 73. You buy the baseball. Without getting too much into your personal business, and, and you go into this saying, you know what, I'm going to spend X amount of this baseball. I don't care what it takes, I want it. Or was it just kind of, you know, you were sitting there and you ended up walking out? You, you, you usually go in with a budget. Now, whether you walk out and you've blown that budget all the heck is, is part of the equation. Here's what happened to me with the 70 ball. I, I bought 10 balls uh, from that home run race that we ended up taking out on tour. All the balls starting with 60, which matched uh, the, the Babe Ruth mark forward, every ball that wasn't given back to Mark McGuire, I own. So I have 63, 64, 67, 68, 69, and 70. And, and then I bought some of the uh, Sosa balls. I tried to buy all those balls privately, and I had a budget, which was about $3 million, to buy them all. I had allocated the money differently than I ended up spending. But I, everybody signed off except the guy who had the 70 ball. And then I go, well, hold up. If I don't get the 70 ball, I don't need the other one. So then when we went to Madison Square Garden for the big auction, the first one that came out of the shoot was a 70 ball. Myself and another guy got crazy and ended up spending $3 million on it. The upside, if there was an upside, is that then all the ball, other balls came up for auction. And since I was the anonymous bidder on phone number 16, Every time I, I did a bid thereafter, they thought I was going to run the table again. So I got all the other balls for the minimum amount. And at the end, it was about the same budget as I had proposed privately. Right. I bought in public. It all equaled out in the end. So you actually got the number 73 ball for $2.5 million cheaper than what you paid for. Right. And, and, the, and the thing is, it's not that it was $2.5 million cheaper. It was that the $3 million was out of whack. Right. So, so prior to the $3 million purchase of the McGuire 70 ball, the record for one ball was 122000 which was a Babe Ruth ball. So we blew it out of the water by 30 full, right? So so when people say the balls are worth a million dollars, minus the one that I bought, the number of balls that people have spent a million dollars on is the same number of live alien captives we have from Saturn, which is zero, folks. So the 450000 is actually truer to the, the graduation of the pricing. And then you've got, Get out of here. you guys, Baltimore Orioles, you guys need to make a comeback here. Can you buy the team? Do you have enough? Yeah. You know what? I, I know one of the partial owners there, Steve Jeppe, and I know that uh, he wishes they would do Jeppe. a little bit better. So uh, like maybe somewhere along the line, we'll see if we can't bring back the domination of Brooks and Jim Palmer and Boog and get those guys back so you guys can have a good team. All right, Todd, thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.